Easter is the celebration of Jesus' triumph over death. Do not be afraid. The Gospel of Mark says, He has risen. He is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. Pope Francis says, To go to Galilee means to begin anew. It means to start again from where we began. The message of Easter is, it is always possible to begin anew because there is always a new life that God can awaken in us in spite of all our failures. By listening daily to His words, may God's love and guidance be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in, in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded. And in amazement, they ask, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. Responsorial Psalm Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to Him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your Spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. The second reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. 
to each individual the manifestation of the spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we are all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Do you know and experience in your own life the gift and power of the Holy Spirit? After his death and resurrection, Jesus promised to give his disciples the gift of the Holy Spirit. He said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus knew that his disciples would need the power of the Holy Spirit to carry out the mission entrusted to them. The gift of the Holy Spirit was conditional upon the ascension of Jesus to the right hand of the Father. That is why Jesus instructed the apostles to wait in Jerusalem until you are clothed with power from on high. Why did they need a power from on high? The Gospels tell us that Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit when he was baptized at the Jordan River. The gift of Pentecost, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and the spiritual gifts and blessings of God, are made possible through the death, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus. After his resurrection, Jesus breathed on his disciples and gave them the Holy Spirit. Just as God breathed life into Adam, so the gift of the Holy Spirit is an impartation of the new life for his people. With the gift of the Holy Spirit, a new creation begins. God recreates us for His glory. Jesus' gifts of peace to His disciples was far more than an absence of trouble. His peace included the forgiveness of sins and the fullness of everything good. Do you want the power to live a faith-filled life as a disciple of Jesus? Ask the Father to fill you with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the gift of Pentecost and for the new life you offer in the Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and set my heart ablaze with the fire of your love, that I may serve you in joy and freedom. Amen. <music>